Hey guys, it's Spring. Welcome back to playing the Desperate Housewives. I think it's part 7. So, in the last part, we talked to Julie and Susan. And I wanted to talk to her some Hi. more to see if there's any events that we should know about. It sure is a beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, no, I don't think it is. How about Susan's? Since we're here, we can talk to her too. Hey there. How did things go with Bree and Julie? Julie was a real help. I have a feeling that what she told me will be quite useful. That's great. I'm glad she could help. Anyway, was there anything else you needed? Okay. I think that's about it, so I just head over to Bree and talk to her and Andrew. So, teacher's number, Susan mentioned that Brie Van de Kemp would have the phone number for her son's teacher. Go over to her house across the street and ask her for it. Hello there. Hello Brie, do I have a few minutes to chat? Well, sure. I have exactly seven minutes until my souffle will be done. What did you need? Oh, I understand. I just had a few questions for you. Susan mentioned that you may have the telephone number for the student teacher at Andrew's school. Oh, no bother at all. I was just updating my phone list this morning. Ms. Savage's home number is 555-0175. What was the other question you had? Thank you so much, Brie. I was wondering, how much do you know about a girl named Allison? I'm sorry. I really don't know her at all. But my son Andrew has mentioned her a few times. If you can find Andrew, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. Okay, I'll ask him next time I see him. Thanks again for the phone number. Bye. Well, he's right there. Let's go talk to him. Oh, hello. Hello, Andrew. Andrew, I hear you're quite the... This pian. This... I'm not sure how it's pronounced. <laughs> well, yeah. I was in a few plays back in freshman year. But, there's nothing going on anymore. What do you mean? Are the play rehearsals going well? No, some sort of budget cuts. There haven't been any play rehearsals since the first week of school, so I've had to help around the house after school. Ugh. Wait, I don't understand. No play rehearsals? Hate to break it to you, but I think you may want to talk to your son about this. There haven't been any rehearsals all year. Really? Why would he lie? I wonder where he has been all these afternoons. I've seen him hanging out with Allison a lot lately. Hmm. I may have to investigate this new girlfriend of his further. Whatever. Well, thank you, Andrew. You've been very helpful. Okay, so give Miss Savage a call. Time for any impromptu parent teaching conference. Give Miss Savage a call to discuss your son's Epidemic who's the cell phone can be said by clicking on the cell phone. But I need the lower right corner of the screen. Okay, let's call to beta. Hello. Can I speak to Miss Savage please? This is Tabitha. Who is there? Hello Tabitha, this is Hannah Jones. I'm Tommy's mother. Oh, hello. How can I help you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about a young lady named Allison. I believe she's one in one of your classes. I'm sorry. It's school policy not to discuss a student's personal matters to anyone who's not their parent or legal guardian. Well, I understand that, but I really only need to know a few things. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but my hands are tied. I wouldn't want to lose my job. I need these student teacher credits to graduate. Can you tell me how Allison's grades have been faring? I'm curious. I'm sorry, I can't divulge that information either. I'm sure you can understand. Is there anything else I can help you with? I have a few questions I would like to ask you about Tommy. Okay, well, I can arrange a parent-teacher conference if you would like.
I'm worried about my son's grades, and I was hoping you could shed some light on the situation. Well, I generally don't like to get involved in student affairs, but ever since he started dating that slut, Allison, he won't Excuse talk to you? me anymore. Is she even allowed to talk like that? About another student? Miss Savage, what did Allison ever do to you? Well, that phony cheerleader started snatching him away after school, and he stopped attending our special tutoring sessions. I didn't know he was getting tutored after school. I thought he had resources for the school play. What were those tutoring sessions all about? Oh, well, I was just helping him deal with things that he was finding hard to grasp during normal school hours. What are you saying, Fabita? I'm just saying, a boy his age, in his prime, should really be grateful of the skills and techniques that an older, more educated woman can provide. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow you. All I'm saying is that if he puts his attention where it belongs, his grades will likely improve. His attention? Listen, if you don't tell your son to break up with Allison and resume our tutoring sessions, I can make sure he won't graduate. <laughs> you do want your son to go to college, don't you? This is outrageous, you can be serious. I have every attention of that discuss principal what is going on here. I was sad for this, I'll bring this up with the school board. We'll see what they have to say. Hey lady, you can do whatever you want. But may I remind you that my father is the superintendent of a school district. I'm as good as bulletproof. Oh please, all I have to do is make a call or two and the press will be all over you. They all have a field day. With a story like this, what do you have to say about that? Ready to ruin your career? Nice try. I have access to information most tenured teachers can't even get their hands on. All I have to do is hop on my father's computer for five minutes, and your son's academic record is toast. You wouldn't dare. It's a simple proposition, really. I want you to tell your son that he needs to immediately resume our tutoring sessions and break up with Allison. Failure to do so will result in his academic ruin, and you can kiss his future goodbye. Well, I need more time to think about all of this. I'll call it back with my decision. You're faced with a difficult decision. You must choose one of the two methods below in order to resolve your soul's dilemma. Choosing one route will automatically rule out the other, so be sure to make your decision after weighting both options carefully. As Black Melchor, you cannot imagine forcing your son to continue to be involved with his student teacher. Certainly, there must be a way to find some incriminating information about Miss Savage that can be used to blackmail her into backing down from her demands. Warning, if you choose to commit this call, you will not be able to give in to Miss Savage wisely. He would decided that it would be just easier to succumb to Miss Savage's demands that your son resume his illicit after-school tutoring sessions. This will definitely impact his current relationship with Alison Tinsley and adopt his relationship with you. Well, we're not giving up with her. Let's talk about Andrew, maybe... He can give us some information, blackmail her. Tabitha, that's what she makes us call her. Hell no, but she and your son seem to get along pretty well. We used to bag on him for spending hours after school in her office. Really? What are they doing? I'm not sure. Talking about homework, I guess. Unless he was working for extra credit. But I think his guys haven't been that good. I wonder what happened. Well, come to think of it. I have seen him after school hanging out by Allison's car lately. Well, thank you, Andrew. You've been very helpful. So, he's definitely been spending time with Tabitha. Wait, let's talk to... Go before you miss her. Daniel. Let's go talk to her. Hey, how's it going? I don't know. All right, I guess. Maybe you need a cigarette. I mean, I wouldn't know myself. 
I've heard it helps you relax. Uh, no, I don't think she she can help us maybe break in. Use thing for Julie. Just thing for Julie. This is going to option. Susan needs your help. Go have a chat with her. She's worried that her ex husband may be winning Julie's heart by spending lots of money on their daughter. She may need your assistance. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Oh, Brie, I learned that with you. It's very so stylish. Even when sitting around the house. Thank you. It's something I just picked up downtown. It's from their fall collection. You must take me shopping with you next time you go. Anyway, I was wondering if you could tell me anything about the student teacher at the high school, you know, Miss Savage. Oh my, is Tabitha teaching? I guess her father must have pulled a few strings. Pulled a few strings? This sounds like the start of a juicy story. Don't let me stop you. Well, about five or six years ago, it was an awful tragedy. Tabitha was in this dance class that Danielle was taking. Oh, she seemed really sweet and took the class very seriously. I think she was contemplating a career in dance. I never heard about any family tragedy. Do you plan on giving me details or do I have to coax them out of here? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got thinking about what a little doll Danielle was in her tutu and ballerina slippers. Anyway, Tabitha's little brother. His name was Corey. He was only 18 months old. Tabitha would babysit while her parents worked late. Well, one night, Rex got a call to come to the house. Apparently, something had happened to Corey. By the time Rex got there, Mr. Savage had gotten home from work and Tabitha was in hysterics. They found him dead in his crib. It must have been awful for them. Rex was really affected by the event as well. I can imagine. She's always so unexpected and devastating when a child dies. Well, that's just it. Rex was always strangely quiet about what really happened that night. I just assumed it was SIDS or something. It was no more than two days later that Tabitha was sent off to a dance camp in Europe or something. We never did find out exactly what happened or where she went. But when she came back, she was a different person. Cold. Barely ever smiled anymore. I mean, Tabitha was smoking and dressing like a punk rocker. She was different. I always wondered if maybe Tabitha was somehow responsible for Corey's death. With what you're saying, it sounds like she was responsible in some way. Tragic and devastating. Tabitha really became one of those kids on the fringe after that. That's why I'm surprised she even went to college, let alone finished it. I can't imagine she'll make a very good teacher either. I certainly wouldn't trust her with my children. Oh, I'm sorry. Is she teaching one of your son's classes? Yeah, she is. Yes, she's a student teacher for college English and she doesn't seem to like his prose very much, apparently. Thank you so much for the information. Bye. Okay, so let's go and fulfill some of the optional goals first. I think we can get some recipe from Mike. So let's try it for some chili dish. And let's read Tabitha's the secret. Years ago, Tabitha Savage was responsible for the death of her infant little brother, a fact which was covered up by her father and his good friend Rex when they came to the local doctor at the time. So that's a secret we can. Blackmail her with. Hello. Would it be too forward to tell you how <laughs> beautiful you look today? I may be married, Mike, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate being appreciated. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm a little hungry, actually, but other than that, I'm fine. That's cool. I was just about to go make some of my famous firehouse chili. I love chili. I used to have a good recipe for it somewhere. Well, I happen to have an award-winning recipe that was handed down to me from my grandfather. It's from a firehouse in Atlanta. Oh, that sounds good. I bet it's really hot, huh? It's the perfect balance of meaty and spicy. It's my prized recipe. I never let anyone see it. I'd love to make the dish. Are you sure I can have it? 
Well, you know, maybe I can show it to you. You seem like the kind of woman who can keep a secret. Well, I can, but I think I'll... But I think this time I'll pass my headphones to turn the pot by herself. Wait, what? My head of Vino has a recipe for chili that is the envy of the neighborhood. He has never divulged it to anyone, but there must be a way to charm it out of him. If you can get the recipe, your prestige and cooking skill will really improve. So I think we basically have to... Seduce him or something? Hello, sexy neighbor. Looking for something hot today? Well, if you're willing, I'm ready to show you what I have cooking. Yeah, I think it's the only way to feel, uh, get the recipe. I think I like having you in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, that was amazing, Mike. I hope we can do that again sometime. I'm ready to go whenever you are. My door is always open. I'll keep that in mind. Still around the neighborhood. I'll be looking forward to it. So, like, did we get the recipe? Or... Yeah, let's actually go and talk to Susan about some of her family problems with Julie and her ex-husband. Hello. This is embarrassing, but I need your help with something. Hi, Susan. No problem. What do you need? Well, I know this sounds a little pathetic, but lately, Julie has been spending a lot of time with Carl. He's been buying her a lot of expensive gifts and trying to win her affection by getting her anything she wants. I'm beginning to think it's working. How can I help? Well, for the last week or so, Julie's been singing this song. I want to get the CD for her as a surprise. What's the band's name? Can't you just go buy it at the store for her? Well, that's just it. All I know is a line she's singing all the time. I want it to be a surprise, so I can't ask her any questions. I was hoping that you could look on the internet or something. Sure, what's the lyric you remember? The world is full of rational insanity or something like that. Do you think you can help? I'll do my best to help. I'll do a search for rational insanity and see what pops up. Okay, so let's head over back to our house and also work on our garden a little bit. Oh, there is she. Actually, let's go check mail. We haven't done that today. I think Miss Devil will just start talking to us as soon as we approach her. Maybe not? Okay. What did we get in the mail? Free shoes. This cupid entitles the bearer to one free pair of shoes at your local McAllister fashion outlet. Herbal tea, this suits herbal remedy, promotes relaxation. Let's use it. Yeah, it really does promote it. Happiness. This perfume will recently make you more appealing. Warning should not be used as a substitute for baiting. So basically, it promotes appearance and box of chocolate. Right. I get box 
filled with various types of chocolates. Yeah, I don't think we'll use it right now. Let's just go to the mixed Miss Davenport. Someone crushed my flowers. And now your garden is nicer than mine. Well, like I told you, I'm quite a green thumb. Too bad someone messed up your garden. It looked pretty good before. Well, it was probably those damn neighborhood dogs. Well, even though my garden is ruined, you did a pretty snappy job on yours, I must say. Thanks, maybe I can give you some gardening tips later on. <laughs> Not likely. Although you do seem to have a gift for gardening. By the time the garden show comes around this year, I'll have my garden in tip-top shape. Good day, my dear. Okay, so let's stand on our garden. See if that's necessary. And then give Susan some help. There's plenty of pests. Okay, so let's go and research Julie's favorite bent and let's make that chili recipe that Mike gave us for dinner after that. So rational sanity is something we need to search up. the band that to singing uh no he didn't really fulfill that goal Wait, we just pressed up another batch of CDs and they can be purchased from the link below. What link? I think maybe that's all we have to do and then go back to talk to Susan or something. Okay, also see if you can find a place to buy the CD when you're done, go tell Susan where to buy it. Okay, so we don't actually have to like buy it ourselves, so we just have to tell Susan about where she can buy it. So let's go and cook some dinner. Special dishes gained by completing various episode specific goals. Max Firehouse Chili.
prefix that one to 350 oh, okay this may be harder than I thought there's pretty much a lot of things you need to do This one went better. We need to store this. Let's put this in the oven. Slice it. Okay, take this out of the oven. Then we have to mix these two together. Okay, so we need to add this one in this pot and then stir. Okay, just in time. Overall quality A minus, but still perfect. Okay. Okay guys, so I think I'll just end this part here and in the next part maybe we'll stay up after 10pm and go find the team tree player for the punch of Omar and then in the afternoon or the next day we'll just go and tell Susan about where she can buy Julie's favorite band's CD. So that's it for this part, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!